Um, before I came to Japan, I was working in Indonesia. And uh, while working in Indonesia, I wanted to uh, try for opportunities abroad and never thought I'll be in Japan and never applied for Japan also. So I was applying on the net yeah. and one fine day I got a call from somebody from Japan mm -hmm. and said that your skill set matches our requirement. Do you want to go for a few rounds of interviews before we decide that yeah. uh, we give you a job offer? And that. So then we had four rounds of interviews and then they asked me to come down to Japan. That's how I got a job in Japan and a job as? as IT system engineer and then I came to Japan here and uh, I remember uh, I came to Japan somewhere around December 20th or so okay. uh, and it, it was a it was cold compared to Indonesia or India yeah. it was very difficult during December season I think a lot of foreigners are on vacation mm -hmm. and a lot of Indians are, ba are back uh, to India for vacation so the first Indian that I met was after 15 days I think <laughs> Did you feel lonely? Yes, because as an Indian, you want to eat Indian food. You want to actually talk in your own language. Yeah. 15, 10, 15 days. The first Indian I met was after 15 days. I was working for a Swiss investment bank here. Mm -hmm. So while I was working for investment bank, I noticed that there, there are not many South Indian, not, there were none. Uh, there were no South Indian restaurants here. All the restaurants at that time were North Indian restaurants serving naan, butter chicken and tandoori chicken. So that is when I saw that okay, there's a, there's a vacuum in that space. Mm. So then we decided okay, we will start a South Indian restaurant. Then we started scouting for the place. So I started scouting for this place and then we got this place. This, this was the first restaurant that we had. Okay. So uh, that's how I got into... Uh, this restaurant we're sitting in now? Yes. Okay, this was the first restaurant that we had. And how many restaurants do you have now? Now we have four restaurants. And uh, the fifth one is coming up in Ginza. Back then, there were not many Indian restaurants. And, but there were a few authentic ones. But uh, compared to today, because today I think there are more than 2,000, 3,000 Indian restaurants. Today, if you look at it, every station, every metro station has at least around three, four Indian restaurants. Back then, to have an Indian restaurant, to go to a proper Indian restaurant, you definitely had to travel around 30 minutes okay. from any station. Right. So that was the situation at that time. Uh, Work-life balance, uh, probably, I mean, the concept that you have in other countries and the concept that you have in Japan is a bit different when it comes to work-life balance. I think a lot of people in Japan are more focused towards work. So the balance is a bit tilted towards work. And not forcibly, but they enjoy that. It's a way of life. Work is their main. I think I fall into the same kind of style. Because I also, compared to, I mean, not forcibly, but I enjoy doing that. But you slowly fall into that. And once you work in Japan for 10 years, or so more than 10 years, you also tend to give importance to work more than the other parts of your life. Okay. When everybody is doing it, you also don't feel bad about it. Of course, uh, uh, things are changing even in Japan. And because 20 years back, it was a different scenario from a work-life balance point of view also. Even these days, 20 years back, you will uh, probably you will uh, never sit with a t-shirt here. Okay. <laughs> right? You will always have a suit. Uh, Indian community in Japan is actually divided into, uh, rather I would say, uh, we have a lot of provinces in India. And each province has a representation by a community. In Japan? In Japan. Okay. In Japan, all the province people actually get together twice a year, thrice a year, four times a year, depending on the province. They are very closely knit. Rather than just saying that it's an Indian community, or India is too big. Right. So. You, they actually, and each province speaks a particular language. So the, they're closely knit because of that. Yeah. So what does the, those kind of communities give to you? Uh, they, they provide a lot of support. I mean, support that is not, not much visible, yeah. but they, they provide a lot of support. 
they they also do some charity activities sometimes we are a part of the charity activities also they organize events like badminton right for the community so so they provide us a platform so that you don't feel at out of out of place so you have some place to go to you have some kind of support system there so it is it is very very important that we are part of that indian society and from a network point of view also they support us in terms of feedback and all the stuff in a positive way in a constructive way i think uh, going towards olympics it's going to be uh, business is going to be good but um, after olympics i think uh, there there is a lot of necessity for uh, policy changes and there's a lot of necessity for uh, for for the same momentum to continue mm. right i think 2025 we have world expo in osaka yeah right so between 20 and 25 if you want the momentum to actually move yeah. forward then probably there's lot of policy changes that has to be required that has to be done yeah. from a government point of view or anything like that yeah. right like 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 let's say a simple thing like there's lot of labor shortage here right yeah plenty of labor shortage here how do they address that problem mm. if we have some good policies i think probably they can take this olympic momentum forward till we get the demand of uh, world expo there in osaka I think for me home is uh, both uh, Tokyo and uh, India. Yeah. Because I most of my life I think half of my life I'm I've been here and half of my life been in India. Yeah. Right. So I think uh, I consider both as my home. So as long as I'm working I think uh, I should be in Tokyo. at least uh, linked to tokyo even if i'm not working from tokyo at least linked to tokyo but maybe when i retire probably i'll go back to india <laughs>